Welcome back. So now we're ready to create some animation notifies. Now we've already got some experience using anim notifies. We can take a look at our reload montage, for example, and see that we have anim notifies here. For example, the finish equipping anim notify is placed in the equip section of the reload montage. And if we go to the blueprint and enter the event graph, here is the implementation for that anim notify. It's essentially an event on the event graph that fires off when that notify is reached in the animation. So we can go ahead and create anim notifies in the montage or in the animation itself, but we can also create custom anim notifies as a blueprint class. Let's do this now. Here in the underscore game folder, right click and create a new folder and let's call this anim notifies. Double click this and we can create a new anim notify blueprint. Go ahead and create a new blueprint class and click the drop down under all classes and search for anim notify. Now there are already some anim notify classes defined here. We're going to create our own anim notify. So select anim notify, make sure this drop down is collapsed and with anim notify selected, click select. Now we're going to create a new anim notify and we can give this a name footsteps notify. So we now have a new anim notify. Now if we go back into an animation or a montage, we can see this. Let's go into our run state and here's our running blend space. Double click that and let's just take a look at one of these animations like jog forward. So in the asset browser, find jog forward, double click on it, and here we can add new notifies. I'm going to click the drop down that says track and insert new notify track and that way I can create a new notify here. Now if we select add notify, we can either add a new notify or under the search there are other notifies. Now there's a footstep anim notify that's defined thanks to the footsteps Niagara system asset pack that we added from the marketplace, but here is our footsteps notify. This is the one we just created. Select that and now we have an anim notify here and the way we implement this notify is we go into our footsteps notify blueprint, open it up, and here is where we will define what happens when the notify gets triggered. So back in jog forward, Let's right click above each of these sync markers and add a footsteps notify. So right click, add notify and choose footsteps notify. And we'll do that for each of these. Now we have these notifies added to the jog forward animation. Go ahead and save that. Now here in footsteps notify, we can override functions that belong to the anim notify class. So if we come over here to the override dropdown in functions, the one we're interested in is received notify. Click on that and now we can override this function called received notify. This function gets called when the notify is reached in an animation. So in the jog forward animation, as soon as our animation reaches the point where we have our footsteps notify, then our footsteps notify will get its received notify function called. And we have access to the mesh component and also the animation that called this notify. And we have a return node that returns true or false based on the success of the notify. So here we can add logic such as spawning particle systems and playing sounds. Now we can even add variables to this notify by coming over to the variables section and clicking plus variable. We're going to add one for the bone name of the bone that we would like to use for its location at which we'd like to spawn our particle systems. So let's give this variable a name bone name and let's change its type to name. Go ahead and hit compile and now we have bone name. Now for the bone name variable set it to visible by clicking the I icon and go ahead and hit compile. Now in our jog forward animation, if we select the notify, we'll see that there's this bone name variable and we can set the 
text for this bone name. Now, if we go to the skeleton, we can find the bone name for the left and right feet. For example, here we have foot L, and that is the bone at the left foot. Let's search here for foot, and we'll see we have foot L and foot R. So back in our jog forward animation, with our footstep notify above the right plant sync marker, let's set the bone name here to foot underscore R. And we'll do the same thing for the notify above the left plant. We're gonna set this to foot underscore L. And we'll do this for the next one above the right plant. We'll set this bone name to foot underscore R. And the next one, we'll set the bone name to foot underscore L. Okay, so now when these notifies are reached, then the received notify will be called. And for each of these notifies, the bone name will be set. Just to test this out, let's create a print string node. And we'll use our bone name, so let's get bone name, and from this, we'll use a two string node to convert the bone name to a string, and we'll simply print that value to the screen. So we'll go ahead and compile and save this. Now our jog forward should have these notifies called, so let's go ahead and hit play, and let's jog forward. And you'll see that as those feet hit the ground, we're getting that message printed to the screen. Now we can jog forward and left at the same time, and we'll see that because we're blending between jog left and jog forward, the jog forward anim notifies are still getting called. Now just to make sure that we're not going to get jog forward and jog left notifies simultaneously, let's go into our jog left animation. And here we have our foot plants, but I'm gonna add a notify that's not on the right or left plant. So I'm gonna right click, add a notify, and add footsteps notify here. And for the bone name here, I'm gonna set this to something completely different, such as not a bone name in all caps with a bunch of exclamation points. That way, when we hit this notify, if we're getting the notify, we'll see this obnoxious message printed to the screen. Now, if we hit play and we jog left, we'll see not a bone name printed to the screen. And if we jog forward, we'll see foot L and foot R. Now, if we jog forward and left at the same time, we'll only see foot L and foot R and not our obnoxious message unless we're only playing that left animation and not the left and forward blended together, as we see here. That's because the forward animation is designated to be the leader and the jog left animation is the follower in relation to the jog forward animation. And so that means we won't get double footstep anim notifies played at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and set this bone name back to what it should be, which is foot underscore R. And I'm gonna add a new notify track and set this notify just above the right plant. I'll go ahead and add new notifies above each of these left and right plants, and I'll create a new track just so I have more room, and I'll create a new notify here, footsteps notify, and set its bone name to foot underscore R, and I'll add one last one under the right plant here, and this one will be footsteps notify, and set its bone name to foot underscore R. Now we're gonna need to add notifies to the different jog animations that the running blend space uses. So we need to add the anim notify to each animation that uses footsteps. So we're going to do that in the next video 
and then after all of our animations that need the anim notify have the anim notify we can then add some sound and particles to that notify so see you in the next video